that. So, you know, while laying out a very sophisticated case for maybe a, a reasonable atheism and such, uh, can you kind of just give us a background on why you wanted to write such a book or um, what sort of the motivation was for you to, to put this book into the works? Sure. I, I got into philosophy, first of all, to teach philosophy. And I think teaching people how to think is drastically more important than teaching them what to think. If you teach people how to think about these matters, then they will get to the conclusions that are true on their own, right. uh, which on a book on atheism means probably, obviously, any belief I hold, I hold it because I think it's true. Right. Uh, and, and in that sense, again, uh, William Rowe is a big inspiration to me. He was always a teacher first. But I, I, certainly I want to add a, a, a few more things that kind of try to distance myself from the new atheists. One, we're all irrational. Uh, there is no one who is 100% rational in every aspect of their life. And, it, it, and even if uh, certain religious beliefs are irrational, that's, that's not enough to dismiss a person or even to dismiss their beliefs. Uh, we have to be much more careful than that. And uh, related to that, we all know some really smart theists. Uh, it would be really silly to call them stupid. Right. Uh, and we all know theists that we love, too. Um, <laughs> and, you know, just uh, imagine talking to someone who you respect and maybe even that you love and telling them they're an idiot is is really just dissonant. It's a cognitive dissonance. But then adding to kind of the teacher-first approach, uh, I was actually teaching, uh, or I was going to teach an atheism course that was both listed as an upper division philosophy course and as a religion course. And just, I, it was really hard finding a textbook that treated both of them and treated them both well. Mm. Uh, and so uh, I know that this podcast focused more on the former, but I did want to uh, write a text that covered both, which means I was writing a text that could theoretically be used as... Uh, an introductory text for mid-level uh, course as well, so it'd be pretty silly to uh, write it in any way, but one that is friendly to the reader, regardless of their <laughs> uh, religious belief. Right. Um, but then, lastly, uh, something I kind of picked up after the course is I just, uh, again, going back to what I mentioned about some of the experiences of atheists I know or or their accounts I've read about, is we just need more tolerance in this country. Sure. And tolerance begins in understanding. And so uh, I made this text written more towards a theistic audience just for that goal. And as a result, I had to present it uh, from common ground and from in kind of an understandable way, but at the same time, try to convey that theists do have good and rational reasons. Uh, atheists do have good and rational reasons for their beliefs. 